Hey everybody, in today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you five different books that you can pick up and read and will help you become a more well-rounded cybersecurity professional, coming up. Hey, what's up everybody? Yes, so given this COVID-19 situation and social distancing, I thought, you know, it's a good time to pick up a book and read it. So I wanted to highlight five different books that I have found have helped me in my career that I think could help you uh, kind of well round you and give you perspective on a couple of different things within the cybersecurity space. Real quick, if you're new here, my name is Jerry Osher and this is Simply Cyber. It's a YouTube channel designed for helping people take their information security career further faster. So let's get into it. Right up front, spoiler alert, the five books are these five. Now, I'm gonna dig in and explain why each one's interesting and has uh, ability to help you, but I just wanted to get these right out uh, from the rip. Okay, so let's get into the first book. Okay, so the first book, The Essential Guide for Cybersecurity for Small and Medium-Sized Businesses. Now, this one's really interesting. I just got this uh, maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and it's authored by Gary Hayslip, who's also written a couple desk reference books around uh, the CISO role. Now, I did read this book cover to cover, and it is interesting, but it's not really intended to be read that way. Once you, um, once you read it once, you can reference it periodically for different things. Now, this book is really written for an individual who's a one man or one woman cybersecurity shop or you're walking into a business that has really no cybersecurity uh, program in place or anything like that. Chapters are broken up, cybersecurity in the business, cybersecurity program, building cyber resilience, risk management, and building and executing your plan. Now, I will say based on my experience when I was reading the first, you know, whatever, third of the book, I felt like it was a lot of... Um, basic foundational cybersecurity type stuff. I, I wasn't really learning anything particularly. So if you have experience uh, working in the field uh, and kind of building a program, then the first part might not uh, have as much uh, value and interest to you. But if you are new to the field or you're trying to establish a program at an organization, this first uh, part is invaluable uh, to help you with that. Now, what is really interesting and I really liked about it is in the back half of the book, it actually spends some time talking about how to engage the business. Now, what's really interesting is no cybersecurity program is ever going to be successful unless it has support for management and the culture of the organization is pro-security. And Gary actually spends some time in the book talking about how to talk to the business, how to explain to the CEO why cybersecurity is important. It's a section called Security Manager's Seven Fundamentals, and he kind of breaks out seven different aspects um, on what you need to do to be successful with your cybersecurity program and hooking into the business. So that alone was definitely worth the price. So this was a quick read. I probably read it in, I don't know, four or five hours. Uh, just tore through it. You can see it's not that big. Um, great book. Check it out. The second book on my list, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can get this on uh, Kindle or digital format. So if you can, I'm sorry, but when this COVID thing passes, you can get it. This book is called Principles of Fraud Examination. Now, this is not a traditional cybersecurity text whatsoever. You won't see it. This book though is incredibly interesting so personally i go to a lot of conferences um, like defcon and those type of conferences because i want to see how the attackers are thinking because i don't think uh kind of in those contexts on in kind of criminal uh, indications and stuff this book is actually a complete taxonomy on how to commit fraud. Now, it's not cybersecurity fraud necessarily, but it's how to get money out of businesses. Yes, you could use this for malicious and purposes and figure out how to commit fraud. Uh, it's like a how-to book in that regards. But the point is, oftentimes, uh, financially motivation or financial motivation is the cause that it, uh, people are seeking to. This book provides a full taxonomy on occupational fraud and abuse. And the best part is every single chapter of the book is dedicated to one block in the taxonomy with case studies, actual real examples of how that fraud was perpetrated in that capacity. So there is just a ton of information in this book, really good case study information. Um, you may think you understand how to commit fraud, like you know check kiting or, or um, 
you know, embezzling or something like that. But I mean, there's literally, you know, 40 or 50, 40 or 50 different ways. And it's happened enough at this point that they've defined a taxonomy. So really great book, really, really interesting. Um, and I recommend checking it out because it once you understand how fraud can be perpetrated, um, you can kind of start thinking in the context of what controls can you put in place to either protect from it happening or detect when it occurs. Um, so it's, it's really a good book. The third book on the list is Counter Hack Reloaded. Now this is an Ed Scotus book, and if you don't know Ed Scotus, Ed is a SANS instructor, longtime SANS instructor. He's incredibly uh, good at presenting and speaking and engaging, and he's super, super intelligent. Uh, he runs the Net Wars uh, things, he runs the Holiday Hack Con, uh, Kringle Con um, that SANS puts out there, so he's gives to the community and he's got a really like fun writing style. Um, and this book, now this book's a little old, like it's, you know, Windows XP 2003 server, stuff like that. So there might be a newer version. Um, I got this several years ago. But basically what this book is gonna tell you is how to attack systems and then how to put in defenses to protect yourself from those attacks. But the way that Ed's broken it out, he kind of goes a little bit into history and stuff, but he effectively uh, goes across the um, cyber kill chain on doing reconnaissance, doing, um, you know, attacking and exploitation, establishing persistence, and, and, and then how to defend from all that. So this book is incredibly interesting incredibly informative and very valuable if you're if you're learning about you know attacking and defending um but it's written in such a great way that it's it's like it's i don't want to call it a novel i mean there's a ton of technical details and stuff in here but his writing is not dry and uh it's just a great book so i totally recommend checking this out this one you can uh you'll you'll reference uh multiple times it's not just a read through and done the fourth book in my list of recommendations is Practical Malware Analysis. Now this book is super specific, right? It's basically for helping you learn how to do um, malware analysis, obviously. Now the cool thing is, this is the de facto book in the field um, that you know basically everyone agrees that this is like, this is where you start. Now the No Starch Press actually has made available or you link to it to the authors. Um, labs that has actual malware. So I do want to warn you, right? In order to study malware, you have to look at malware and run malware on your computers. So be very careful, follow good practices uh, with, you know, segmenting off that machine or, or no network connections and stuff like that, or build VMs that can be torn down, et cetera. But anyways, the best part is this book is com in completely thorough and it's basically a class in a textbook. You can walk through, you do static analysis, you do dynamic analysis. It tells you the right tools to download and install. It tells you how to use them. It tells you what to look for. So if you are kind of strapped for cash, you can't afford um, maybe education right now, uh, you could spend whatever, 25, 30 bucks. It's, this book's not that expensive. And uh, basically step through a malware analysis class and get that skill on a budget. Um, it's a great book. And you know, basically anyone that does malware analysis is very familiar with this book. The fifth and final book in my list of recommendations is a simple one. It's Learning Python. Now, you, well, several things. One, understand, you don't need to know how to program to be a cybersecurity professional, but I will say it helps. It helps a lot. Python is one of those kind of practical, all utility, all purpose type languages. It's an interpreted language, which means um, the code isn't compiled, so you can read source code and it's very easy to understand. Um, it's very flexible, um, but if you don't understand what it is and how it works, then it's, it's kind of difficult to take advantage of it. Um, learning Python, you know, th there's tons of resources on the internet that can teach you how to uh, program in Python so you don't necessarily need to uh, read a book on it, but I've found that the O'Reilly Learning Language series um, are really well laid out. They teach you all the core fundamentals um, that you would need to be able to take advantage of Python or whatever programming language you want. Uh, there are kind of exercises in here to, to get you familiar and get you comfortable um, with the different skills and, and, and uh, lessons that they're trying to teach you in the book. Uh, but I feel like if you do this, uh, step through this kind of book as a class, if you will, uh, you'll get comfortable on the command line, you'll get comfortable with um, interpreters, you'll get comfortable with you know whatever your text editor of choice is, 
And then you'll have that knowledge. So when you download a tool uh, like OLE Dump or something like that, some Python based tool, you can open it up and look at the source code and understand what's really going on and figure out, oh, this is interesting. This is what it's doing. Oh, I see what it's looking here. Or you begin to modify it and add some new functionality for yourself uh, that serves whatever your current niche um, challenges or issue. So great book. Uh, like I said, a lot of free resources out there online, but I've, you know, I went through this one personally years ago and I have found it to be incredibly valuable um, on my, my cyber journey. So I'm curious, what books do you read or recommend that would help an individual along their cyber journey? I know that there's a ton of them. Uh, Tribe of Hackers is a pretty popular one. I haven't got that one personally. I just ordered uh, the Operator's Handbook, which I plan on doing a review later on. Uh, that book just came out recently. Uh, but just put in the comments below, I'm curious what books you would recommend that I check out in order to help me along my career. That'll do it for this one. Uh, please be safe, practice social distancing, and uh, we'll get through this COVID thing um, in no time here. So thanks, and until next time. Stay